Titan's Pie is um, a painting I did to make a statement of this theory that I have of how the Earth has developed over time. And what I discovered was that if I took the continents and put them, traced them with their continental shelves and then cut them out, I could put them on a smaller globe and they would fit together uh, without any overlaps and without any spaces in between. In this painting, I show four faces of the Earth. And uh, when the Earth, my, my belief is that when the Earth was smaller and that the continents fit together, that the Earth was a ball of water and there was no land showing at all. So what happens in that painting is uh, I have the um, continents outlined with volcanic fire. Uh, this is just when they're starting to separate and come apart. I was working with composition and I wanted to try different shapes to see how I could build the painting um, with a different shape. So I gave it as a challenge. And at that time I, I was trying to figure out the difference between, for example, a Baroque painting and a Renaissance painting and what made them that way. So I've, I, I painted what I considered a Renaissance painting and what I considered a Baroque painting. So this was basically a painting that I wanted to um, deal with a, an elongated form. The earth has an interesting tension in it. We have different type of fault lines and some of them are uh, caused by the earth expanding and some of them are caused by the earth rotating and the way it rotates. So in this painting what I did was I just showed the major fault lines and this would be the first um, uh, cracking that would, would have happened as the earth got bigger. Now, when I say the first cracking at this stage, because of my belief is that the earth was even smaller. And then when you look at the continents, they have old sections of older, much older rock and they're hard to, to find in some places because they may be covered with sedimentary rock but I believe that the earth was much, much smaller and that it's gradually been expanding and expanding and expanding. Uh, there are two uh, scientists in Norway that have done a lot of drilling of ocean core and they found that there's a lot of what they call pillow lava um, which spread for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles and this was all created at the same time. Well, each continent is, is kind of a depression, is, is kind of depresses down into the layer below. So it's kind of like a socket for the continent. Well, if the continents get out of that, then they can slide over the ocean. And as they're sliding over the ocean floor, they can melt the ocean floor. And that's where this pillow lava could come from. That could be the, an explanation for the pillow, all this pillow lava that covers, covers thousands and thousands of square miles. And that's why when we look at the Earth, it looks like the, um, the Earth was one time uh, really hot or you have areas in the, in near, the, near the equator where you can see that there were ice ages. It's not that the ice age existed at the equator, it's the land that was at the equator existed in the north and vice and moved around. So it looks like the poles have been moving back and forth. It's possible they do that, but it's possible also that the, that the continents have been moving and that the, the poles have stayed in the same place. I did the painting first and I had a frame for it and it was terrible. It was just a store-bought frame and I, I got the framer to cut it. And it was like, um, that didn't work. It, it was, it looked, they looked awful. The frame comes out of the garbage and I was going down one of the alleys in Old Naples and this was in the garbage and it was missing the bottom of the frame. So I said, gee, that's really nice. I really like that. And it was in front of an armoire. Um, so I took it out and I repaired the bottom. I took, I made the bottom. So the bottom of the frame is new that I built and the, the top is old. But I took the door off and it fit the painting. It, it was really a coincidental, you know, fit. So I uh, put a little molding around it so it was exact. And, and uh, so that's where that comes from.